And just take a look at that. Huge flames ripping through that store on Napco Road tonight. Firefighters really had their hands full with this one. In addition to battling the flames, they also risk their life and limb trying to rescue a dog that was trapped inside. Shelby Myers is on the scene and Shelby, a lot of damage behind you. Absolutely, Lanise and Byron. And just since the last time we talked to you at the top of the nine o'clock hour, you can see that boards are now put up to keep people from unlawfully coming into this business because that massive fire just burst out all of the front windows right there on the entryway. You can see a lot, a lot of damage here today. The race was on for firefighters to get this place out, not only to keep it from spreading to all of these nearby by neighboring businesses, but also to find out if the dog inside was still alive. A raging fire engulfing the inside of this nonprofit at the corner of Navco Road and McVeigh Drive. Dozens of mobile firefighters on scene knocking it down as the flames threatened to spread to connecting businesses. That was smoke everywhere. The owner of Navco Pizza, Randy Poe, says he ran outside when his shop started to fill up with smoke. When we came out, uh, you can see the white, you can see where the fire is now? Yeah. It was really high, and you hear popping, and the windows was crashing and bursting open, and it all started coming down. The director of the Navco Community Outreach, helplessly waiting in the parking lot, her dog was inside. Everyone bracing to learn if the dog died or was still alive. Until. Oh, they got her. Out of the smoke, heroes in uniform reuniting the owner with her dog, Ginger. And Ginger's doing just, just fine after some uh, oxygen therapy outside. Yeah, photographer Bryant Geary getting those amazing moments on camera. The director here just so thankful that her dog was able to be rescued. She actually just left the scene telling our photographer that, you know, she is so grateful to have the help to put up these boards out here. But neighboring businesses, including the Piggly Wiggly, actually donated bread and things like that to serve the homeless community in this area. And that's what this shop was all about. There was clothes, shoes, things like that inside. So it was just an outreach in this community. It's absolutely devastating to see this fire out here. Now, firefighters do tell me that it was likely caused accidentally by a fan that was left on actually to keep that dog cool. Live tonight in Mobile, Shelby Myers, Fox 10 News.